What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content daily. We also stream over on Twitch at This Is After Sound, so come by and say hello. All right, one of the things talked about today on the, uh, or one of the questions I should say that was answered on the town hall was about CP or collection power for modern format. Now, there's been a lot of rumblings about this. Today was the first time I actually heard anybody say something specific towards it, and that somebody was Yabba Matt. Um, and give an actual answer to it that uh, like what the expected is uh, or what the expected CP is, I should say. Now, keep in mind, this isn't written down anywhere, so it's not necessarily set in stone, but Yabamat did say, or for those who maybe have heard rumblings of it before, did confirm that it, the uh, CP requirements would be cut in half from what they currently are. And part of the reason for that is because the CP of the cards in um, Chaos Legion are half of those in the previous set, Untamed and Dice, right? And obviously much less than those uh, in the, the earlier sets like Beta and Alpha. So I wanted to take a look at this and see what does this look like? How does this shape or shake up the leagues? And, you know, based on where you're currently at and maybe what you're trying to stretch into, I think this is, this is going to improve the dynamic entirely so we'll start at the bottom here uh bronze three obviously doesn't count there's no power uh, needed there bronze two now in order to start earning you're only going to need 500 cp which literally is just going to be a legendary card even the newest legendary cards are going to get you 500 cp and then from there obviously with the other updates that are coming to the rewards program or the rewards economy um, you'll need to own some of the other cards in your set because you know if <laughs> if you only have 500 power uh, that means only one card in your deck will be eligible to earn so you'll want to be able to pepper that power out throughout but like i said it's still nice that buying one legendary card which i think the cheapest legendary is going for like two three bucks right now is you know you're you're going to be able to play and start earning right away um and i wouldn't suggest buying a legendary right off the bat if you're new unless of course you that's what you want and you're going to build up towards that deck uh bronze bronze one interesting you know it's 2500 power uh but you know the lower leagues is not where this is going to get interesting just because having something that's lower is not going to be as you know as much of a of a cp reduction uh, but silver three, you'll now be able to get in for less than 8k power. Silver two, you're going to get in for 20k power, which is currently, you know, where silver three mostly sits. And then silver one, if this gets cut down to 35k power, then now all of a sudden you're playing in between like the silver three and silver two. But again, this is not as interesting to me where things start to get interesting is in gold. Now I look at gold and granted, I know that I'm playing in gold and many, many folks aren't, um, but I look at gold as like, okay, this should probably be where the standard is, right? Where the average and where most players will spend their time. I really feel like bronze is going to be for noobs and starters that are just trying to figure their way out, right? And and almost like essentially remove novice. Like novice will always be there, but nobody should be spending a ton of time in novice. So gold, or so bronze is like kind of where you start off. Silver is where you're really starting to learn the different metas of the game and like you can, you know, start to level up cards and be like, oh, okay, like this is how this works and all that. But gold is like, if you've been playing the game for a while, I think you should be able to get into gold. Now it's not as easy to get into right now because a hundred thousand power, like that's, that's a lot. Like you need a significant amount for that, whether to rent or to buy. But as soon as we get the new CP requirements, this is going to go down to 50K. When if, and if you're comparing that, 50K is actually less than Silver 1. So now people who have been playing in Silver 2, right, uh, you will, or, you know, Silver 2 or, or stretching into Silver 2, you will be able to play in gold. And I think that's phenomenal. Um, you know, taking a look at the other, the gold divisions here. So you have gold two, that's going to come down to 75 K and that's going to be almost equivalent to those who are playing in silver one. So it's almost like at this point, if you're playing in silver one or stretching to silver one, you'll be able to make a two division jump, which for a rewards and earning standpoint, I think is, is great. Uh, and then gold one is essentially going to be the new gold three, where you're going to go 200 K power down to 100 K power. So how does this look like in diamond? Well, let's, let's go to diamond first. So now in diamond, diamond three, this is going to go down to 125, which sits nicely between gold three and gold two. Um, but, you know, for me, like I have enough power. If I if I didn't rent out certain cards, I could probably I could probably be in gold two easily. But for the most part, I'm playing in gold three with the amount of power that I have. It's like 145 or so. Um, so now the fact that I'll be able to get into games or into diamond three with that kind of power is going to be awesome. 
And then looking ahead to this, you have a diamond two and diamond one, which are, you know, let's skip diamond two and just go straight to diamond one because diamond one is now essentially where gold one was for power. So you can see everything is starting to get scrunched down now and all of a sudden, uh, starting with gold one, you are making a three division jump, right? Those who are playing in gold one right now will technically be diamond one in the future from a power standpoint, not from a rating standpoint, but from a power standpoint. And then champion, you know, this is where it gets interesting. If it's going to be 250k power for champion, I mean, that's diamond right now. And so again, it's, it's, you're making this essentially full league jump, right? So if you're playing in gold one, you immediately go to diamond one. And if you're playing in diamond three, you immediately go to champion three. So that's going to be really awesome. I mean, look at the loot chest that you get here. Obviously this is going to change significantly once um, the rewards updates comes through, but I can't imagine they're going to do much less than this. It's probably gonna be something similar to the amount that you can earn. So for me, now the goal is, well, I want to try and get to 250,000 power in my playable deck as quickly as possible because then I have enough power to play champion in modern. Now, is that going to be easy? No, because I'm sure the people up there are going to have all of the older untamed and dice cards, but it'll still be it'll still be something worth stretching for in this new economy and with the new format, modern format. So I'm excited about this, guys. I mean, you know, the, the power levels are going to be a huge shift and uh you know it's it's gonna make the game so much more fun because i love playing in gold um yeah i mean i i love playing in gold because it unlocks so many different abilities and so many different things that you can do different game metas that change different strategies and uh you know it it took me a while to get to gold so I'm excited for a lot of you guys who are still playing in bronze and silver but will now be able to stretch into gold and experience some of the new and cool game meta that happens at the higher levels. And then for me, I'm excited to start playing with maxed out cards. I, I don't have a maxed out deck yet. So I, I there's not much that I can be excited about because I'll need to make that investment further and, and max out my summoners. But still, it's, you know, we're in this for the long haul. This is super exciting. I cannot wait for it. And um, yeah, I just, I cannot wait for Modern Format to be here. So we got a little bit over a month to go. Uh, Cryptomancer, uh, you know, just just do your thing, brother. I hope uh, I hope there's no snags in in the rest of the development and the, um, and the testing that will follow through with that. But uh, this is exciting times, guys. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. Have an amazing rest of your day. I will catch you all in the next one and I will see you in the next video. Take care.